this video, I want to focus on the scene um, where Michael visits Hannah in prison, the only time he ever visits her, and when he asks her the question um, if she's done some thinking. And in the past 18 years of being in prison, um, of course she's done some thinking, but they both knew that what he was talking about is like, have you done some thinking about what you did? Because you can tell this, there was a sense of Michael loved her, but he wanted her to feel guilty for what she did. And so he struggled with being in love with her, being in love with someone who did something so terrible. And so the comparison between the movie and the book, the move, her movie uh, response was a lot harsher than her book response. And in the book, she says that the dead come to visit her at night. Um, and she used to be able to tell them to go away before she was in prison, but she can no longer do that. And so you can tell that by that response that she does feel this sense of guilt. And I think that that's what Michael wanted to hear and so that he could go along and help her whenever she was supposed to get out of prison. Um, because their relationship was one that was very confusing because while he held other people accountable for like the actions of what they did in the past, like in the movie it says that he didn't attend his father's funeral. Um, there was a really short scene and it didn't say why. Um, but there must have been something that he was upset with his father about, which is why he didn't attend the funeral, or maybe he was upset with his mother, something in the family relationship that was preventing him from doing so. Um, but the relationship with him and Hannah, she had done this terrible thing, and it was like that she, you never heard her say that she was sorry, um, but Michael continued to make sure she was taken care of in prison by making sure that he read to her, and he devoted so much time to that. Um, like, it said that he had recorded the, his, himself reading and he said it like weekly or every couple weeks if he was just busy at the time which is a lot of your life to spend and he spent his whole life just in love with her and their relationship and one thing that um, wasn't talked about as much but it was briefly mentioned um, the relationship between him or Hannah and Michael especially in the beginning that was statutory rape um, and I felt like it focused so much on, and we talked about like the female, like uh, female guards, and just how the movie portrayed them differently than what they wanted, than what they actually were, as to get them more of like a, a it wasn't their fault, like they were more victims mentality rather than holding them accountable. And if like roles were reversed, as far as like if Michael was a female and Hannah was a male that relationship from the beginning, it, I just feel like it would have been looked at as differently and the whole time it would have been looked at as differently. Um, so the relationship was one definitely of abuse and power um, and this power that she held over Michael his entire life um, and even up until the very end and even whenever she had um, killed herself that he still was just so connected to her and carried out her wishes and even told like his daughter about her and visited her at the grave like there was this just absolute power that she had maintained her entire life and her relationship with Michael as well.